Happy New Year's everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I went on Pinterest looking for patio set ideas and I came across these pieces that I like very much. But I also remember that I have a side table that I purchased at a tech sale during the summer. If you would like to find out how I take this side table and turn it into a coffee patio table using craft sticks, just continue watching. To start, I clean the table with vinegar and water. Next, I'll be using two heavy duty boxes that I purchased from Home Depot and I'll be cutting them open using a blade. Next, I'll be taking measurements of all four sides. I did not give measurements because you might be using a different table. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming giveaways and more. Link below. Once I was done with opening the boxes, I cut four pieces 18 and a half by 43. After I have all four pieces, I'll be using tape and I'll be covering up any open areas. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next, I'll start attaching the pieces of cardboard using one and a half inch nails and I'll be using three nails on the bottom and three nails on the top. Because this is compressed wood, I decided to use nails instead of screws or staples. Once I was done attaching all four pieces, I covered the edges using the same. I will repeat the same steps on the sides in a horizontal format. On the next two sides opposite from each other, I'll be repeating the same steps, but this time I'll be placing the craft sticks 
in a horizontal format and I will also be cutting the edges in half. Placing and cutting the craft sticks in different formats will give this table more of a patio furniture appearance. I'll be repeating the same steps on the bottom and on the top, and once you get to the sides, you may cut as you go. I also use hot glue for video purposes only for quicker drying. Next, I took cardboard and cut it to size, and I'll be gluing them on the both horizontal sides opposite from each other. Now I have storage for magazines or anything I would like to place in. Next I cut out three pieces of cardboard 16 by 16 and I glue them together using craft glue. I'll be repeating the same steps using the craft sticks in a horizontal format covering the entire board. This will be the top for the table. I also use craft sticks to cover the edges. I have a lazy Susie that someone has given to me a long time ago, but it was pretty damaged, but it still can't spin. So what I did to fix it was apply my strong adhesive glue and some hot glue to hold it in place and let it dry overnight. Next, I used a chalk pen and a ruler and I drew an X on top of the table so I have the correct centering for my spinner.
And now I have a spinning top. I also took the table to a well ventilated area and spray painted metallic silver using one can. While I'm letting my table dry, I'll be making a vase. I'll be using one clear bowl and one metallic silver bowl. And I'll be using craft sticks as well. I'll be gluing the craft sticks in a vertical format using hot glue and I'll be continuing the same steps going all the way around. Once my whole bowl is covered with the craft sticks, I will also add more craft sticks in between the spaces. Once I was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted metallic silver and I also hot glued the silver bowl to the bottom. Next, I took my strongest adhesive glue and some hot glue and I applied it to the back of the mirror and I'll be attaching it to the front part of the storage area on both sides. Next, I'll be using this trimming that I purchased from Walmart with a mirror reflection. And this is what I'll be using to fill in any empty spaces around the mirror. I also added single strips of gem wrap around the edges of the storage area and I also added floral gem wrap in the empty spaces. And here is the finished look. I have to say I'm in love with this table and the spinning top just makes it a lot better. I really have to say the placements of the craft sticks with the magazine storage and mirrors and a touch of glam is the kind of patio set that I've been looking for. And now I have my very own. And with the spinning tabletop, it just completes me. I'll be making other patio furniture using craft sticks to add on to my collection. Stay tuned for that. I hope that everyone has a safe and wonderful new year to come. And I hope you enjoyed this DIY video as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends. Comment if you wish. Click that notification bell for more upcoming future videos. See you soon.